Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I am looking at some data recovery software. It's called Recover It and it's by Wondershare. Let's get started. If you've ever deleted files off of a hard drive and want to get them back, there are ways to do it. Recover It by Wondershare is one of those options. Now for full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Wondershare. Wondershare asked me to review their Recover It software and I agreed, but I agreed adding in one condition that I would give this product a fair and honest review. Recover It is available at recoverit.wondershare.com. It's available for Windows and Mac. The file size when you download it is about two megabytes. Now scrolling down the page just a little bit here, I can see some details about the product. It says 1000 plus file formats, any storage media, and a high recovery rate. And they also say it's a pretty easy process. So it's a three-step process. I'll get out of the way here. It says select. So download and launch recover it. Scanning. Scanning the disk to restore your files. And lastly, data back. Preview recovered files and get them back. So to test things out here, I will be using a portable hard drive from Western Digital. This is a one terabyte portable hard drive. I've had this hard drive uh, for quite some time here. The issue that I have with this hard drive is actually from human error. I accidentally erased all of the data off of this drive. I turned it into a bootable drive by accident. I was trying to install Linux on a USB key. I accidentally installed it on this. So the program wiped my drive, installed Linux on it, and now I want to get my files back. So I downloaded the program and now I'm running the installer. I'm running it on Windows. So I can see the install button here and customize install. I'll click customize install. It gives me two options, a language option and the installation path. So I really don't need to customize any of those. So I'm just going to click install. So I've plugged in the portable hard drive and you can really see that it is pretty screwed up. Taking a look at this, it says ext backup f drive 31.9 gigabytes free of 31.9, which is not the case. It's a terabyte hard drive. So why is it showing me only 31.9 available? And that's because I installed an operating system on it that Windows is not seeing. So what I'm going to do is put recover it through its paces here, really test it out to see not only can it pull data off of a hard drive, but can it also pull data off of a hard drive that I've installed something else on. So I have recover it up and running here right away. Let's take a look at that external hard drive. So it's listing two different partitions, ext backup, and lost partition one. When I tried to open this on my PC, lost partition one was not even showing. So I'll click the radio button here for lost partition one and click start. So right now it's actively searching through my hard drive. It's found 17 files so far. It is 1% done and it's got a long way to go. It is going through an entire terabyte or over a terabyte of space here. Uh, so I don't expect this to be done anytime soon because I did have a lot of files on it, but it is finding them pretty quick. So it's found 19 files so far. Hopefully it finds more. So it's the next day I let this program run overnight because it had to comb through over a terabyte of space. So it took about three hours to get through about 25%, which is about maybe 250 to 300 megabytes. And looking at my computer this morning, it says scan completed. Sorry, we couldn't find your files. Feedback to us for further check. So let's just double check everything here. I'll just click the little X here. So just out of curiosity here, I am going to check to see if there are any files. So I will open the lost location folder here and right away I can see that there are files. So I see a hitbox folder that I previously had that was deleted, hitbox buttons, Nightcade, which was a fork of Fightcade. I can see Final Burn Alpha on there, some Yu-Gi-Oh ROMs. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can also see some YouTube stuff that I thought was deleted. So let's just take a look at something here. I'm gonna try Mr. Sujano Blue Small.png. And I'll take a look, it says unable to preview. This file may be corrupted by the following reason. The data has been overwritten. The data is incomplete. So I will try clicking the recover button to see what happens. Let's throw this onto my desktop. So I'll just go down here, throw it onto my desktop and see what happens. So I don't have a lot of hope right now. One of the things when you are recovering files and okay, it's corrupted. So one of the issues when you do accidentally delete your data, if you overwrite the data on a hard drive, it does cause some issues. So fortunately, Recover It was able to identify the files that I did lose, 
but at the same time it was unable to recover it because I'd already written over them with something else. So in this second test, I'm going to change things up a little bit. What I'm going to do is write files to a USB stick, I'm going to delete them, and then I'm going to see if I can use recover it to get them back. So I plug the USB drive in and right now it's showing 960 megabytes free of 960 megabytes. So let's just open that up and let's put a couple of files on there. The first file I'm going to put on is my YouTube channel logo. So it's just a picture and then I'll put in a document as well. So this document is called super important document. And if I open this up, it will say this is a top secret, super important document. Do not delete it by accident. So now I have both files on this USB stick and what we're going to do is accidentally delete them. So whoops, I accidentally deleted it. Let's run recover it and see if we can get them back. So now recover it is up and running. I'm going to select the external drive here, local disk F, which is showing it's fully free and click start. Now right away, it has found the super important document that we just deleted. I'm hoping it's also going to be able to find that image. Notice how much faster this is going when it doesn't have to comb through an entire terabyte of space. So the scanning has finished. It says scan completed, seven files found. So let's take a look to see what it did find. So looking at the file systems here, I'm going to go into lost location just to see what's in here. I can see right away that it does show a couple of pictures actually, some Horizon Chase Turbo pictures. So I didn't even realize these were on the USB key. Uh, they weren't there initially. I didn't have to delete them or anything like that. So this is back from, it looks like 2019. So July of 2019. So that's how long ago these were back on the, the uh, USB key here and it did remember it. Um, Mr. Sujano logo, I can see it did find the logo, as well as three versions of the super important document. Now, if you're wondering why there are three versions of super important document, it's not an error. I did try this a couple of times. So what I ended up doing was putting the super important document on the USB key. I forgot to hit record on my video, so I tried it again. And then when I did it again, I forgot to hit record. I hit stream instead using OBS. So I had to re-repeat the entire steps. And that's why we have three versions of this on the USB stick. So the recovery process completed. The folder is now on the desktop. Here is the moment of truth. Let's open it up. First thing I'm going to open is the Mr. Sujano logo. So opening that, I can see it successfully recovered the image. Let's go into now the super important document. Opening it up, it says, this is a top secret, super important document. Do not delete it by accident. So this document was successfully preserved in its entirety. Uh, let's go into lost location here and take a look at these Horizon Chase turbo photos that I didn't even remember I had. So it looks here, I think I remember taking these. These are when I set the global best time that I was really proud of. I did it on two different tracks. Uh, I think I was streaming for these ones, to be honest with you, uh, but I didn't even realize I had these on the USB key. So that's really, really awesome. So I was successfully able to pull off the data from the USB key, including data I didn't even realize was previously on there. Now, looking at the pricing of Wondershare, it's differently priced for Windows and Mac users. The essential package is $60 a year. The standard package is $70 a year and the advanced package is $80 a year. So in terms of what these get you, essentially the essential license gets you the restoring of file formats, recovering various devices, deep scan and file preview, support all lost scenarios, and free remote technical service. Now on the bottom items here, create bootable disk, recover data from crash PC, solve BSOD is available in the standard edition, and then in the advanced edition, you also get advanced video recovery, repair corrupt videos, and scan video fragments. For Mac, these prices go up a little higher. The essential is $79.95 instead of $59.95. The standard is $99.95 instead of $69.95. And the advanced is $119.95 instead of $79.95. So what we learned here as a point of advice, if you do accidentally delete some data, don't write anything else to the hard drive because you might accidentally write over the deleted portion of data and then you'll never be able to get it back. As soon as you accidentally delete something, stop all activities and try to recover it. If you do save anything else to the hard drive, you do run the risk of saving over the deleted data. Just because the data is deleted, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gone forever. Overall, do I recommend Wondershare recover it? I would say if you are in a bind and need something recovered, 
then yes, you don't have to buy it right away. You can pick it up when you're in a dire situation. It is very handy to have, especially in a last resort situation where you've accidentally deleted something or maybe your hard drive crashed and you're just desperately trying to get any information off of it. I will leave a link to recover it in the description below. For me, this was a very interesting experience. I quite like the fact that I was able to recover data off a USB stick. I was a little disheartened to learn that I had saved over some of my deleted data already on the external hard drive, but that just goes to show if you accidentally delete something, be proactive and deal with it right away. Thanks again to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Let me know what you think about Recover It in the description below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.